Hi, I'm Willow Grace Mystic, and I have your August 2021, the second half of the month astrology forecast. So if you are interested, you can always sign up for my newsletter at willowgracemystic.com. And I'm offering an astrology for beginners class starting in September for four weeks, where I will take you through each of the houses, the planets, and the signs for your chart, and you will learn to read your chart. So let's get started on August, on Wednesday, August 11th, 2021, we have the intellectual sign of Mercury. It's going to be entering its, its home sign of Virgo. Now with Mercury and Virgo, um, expect all of our thoughts and ideas to now become streamlined. It's about getting focused taking what we learned from the last sign and now saying we were fired up with it in Leo. Now that we're in Virgo, let's get down to business. Let's, we're going to be more attentive, more focused. We're going to be detail oriented. This is going to be an opportunity to tap into the analytic energy of the sign of Virgo. If you have a project in mind, now is the time to start that project. Then on Tuesday, August 16th, 2021, we're going to have Venus, the goddess of love. She's going to be moving into the social sign of Libra. This is one of her signs, her home signs that she loves. She belongs in Taurus and Libra. Now, this is such a beautiful, harmonious aspect for everyone, wherever it is in your chart. So Venus rules money, pleasure, leisure. Now, while Libra wants to be social and charming, we may find ourselves um, trying to create a balance between relationships, wanting to bring more love, beauty, harmony into our lives. She will be here until September 10th. So expect all relationships to improve with our general quality of life. And we will be feeling better. Um, with her being in this home sign, it's about being happier with ourselves and looking for healthier relationships. Then on thir Thursday, August 19th, 2021, Uranus, the planet of science, technology, innovation, it's going to station retrograde, meaning it's slowing down and it's time to go back and review and rethink and basically backtrack over some areas in your chart that you've already moved forward through. So it's going to be in the earthy sign of Taurus, being very earthy, grounded, solid. Now, when outer planets like Uranus station retrograde, their energy is magnified. It's intensified. Uranus is the planet of the great awakener. As it travels backward, this is going to be a time that we're going to be receiving deeper insights or revelations about events that have been unfolding in our life since the beginning of 2021. Uranus is known for shock and surprise. So this is us expecting sudden shock and surprise to um, our day-to-day -day living. This is electric energy, and it's going to be manifesting in our day-to-day events that are going to be going on, try to align yourself with the same frequency to gain insight and clarity. Then on Sunday, August 22nd, we're going to have the second full moon in the sign of Aquarius. Now, last month we had a full moon at the, the first degree of Aquarius. And this is this time we're going to have a full moon in the last degree, the 29th degree. This is considered an anoretic or a, uh, it's known as a sensitive, it's more potent, it's about final endings. So you started to end something, and now this is the final closure. Um, remember, full moons always illuminate things that are now being brought to light. It's about endings, completion. It's about being full circle. Now, Aquarius is the 11th sign of the zodiac. It rules the mind invention, uh, humanitarian actions. And so this is a, this is the perfect opportunity to have expansive energy, to repair your mood, to allow, to feel connected to something that's bigger than ourselves. It's about, it's, it's also conjunct to Jupiter. Um, now Jupiter is the planet of abundance and the gifts. And um, so since this is the second full moon, um, there will be some kind of a connection to events that were around July 23rd, July 24th. So you can look for a repeated theme and connect the dots yourself. Expect sudden opportunities, 
endings, fortune, and luck. And then I will go through each sign according to your rising sign. Now, later the same day, we're going to have the sun leaving the fiery, bold sign of Leo. And now it's going to be entering the earthy, grounded sign of Virgo. So happy birthday, all Virgos out there. Leo season, it allowed us to tap into our creativity, our personal power. And now it's time to get moving because Virgo season, it's about getting back to work. It's Virgo is the sixth sign of the Zodiac, and it represents logic, systematic approaches. It's governed by the sign of Mercury. And so this is communication. This is travel. It's very detail oriented. This is us creating a work plan to accomplish the tasks that are at hand. So getting back on track with our lives. Then on Monday, August 30th, 2021, Mercury, the planet of ideas and logic, will finally leave the detail-oriented sign of Virgo and will enter the balanced sign of Libra. So you have this time to get a plan in action. Then when it enters uh, Libra, the planet of abundance, um, during this transit, expect to be more diplomatic. It, we're going to find ways to find balance with other people. What are their ideas? What are our ideas? Uh, connecting with them on their other people's points of view. Libra is the sign of partnership. So when working with others, we look for a win-win. This is not about all one person. Uh, Virgo, Leo says, let's be creative. Let's, I have these ideas. Virgo says, I need to put a plan into action. This is what my plan is. Then when we go into Libra, the goal is to have a plan that everybody wins. So it's about exploring all your options to find balance, clarity, middle ground. It's a perfect time for partners who are looking to negotiate, uh, writing contracts, anything that will benefit both sides. So uh, let's talk about this through the signs. Aries, Aries sun or Aries rising. This full moon is occurring in your 11th house with the sun illuminating your fifth. And I want to throw in Venus because um, she's bringing in all kinds of energy with partnerships. So an overall view of this full moon, we have several planets in, that are stationed retrograde. So Whenever a planet is stationed retrograde, this is going back, digesting, correcting, perfecting um, things. These planets are also conjunct Jupiter. Now, Jupiter sees the bigger picture. Jupiter wants abundance. It's linking together others with ourself, and it's wanting us to become one with community. Um, Jupiter wants us to connect with justice and the moon represents the people, us. This is revealing things in your chart that will feel like there's been an injustice and now it's bringing it to light. And how do I correct this? How do I end this? Aquarius wants freedom, truth, equality, and to have a voice. And remember that this full moon is in the 29th degree. This is a final ending. You had an ending at one degree last month. And this is a rare occurrence that you're going to get to. So now we have this second ending of going back and saying, I started it. I now need to have a final closure. So you look back and you say, what is limiting me in my life? Um, is it a job? Is it career? Is it a relationship? Is it something that I don't have control over? Is it my income? Is it routine? Um, this is expecting new change, expecting a new energy. Um, so the moon is in your 11th house. This is partnerships, friends, social circles, um, you being creative in with a larger group of people. Now that will be illuminated as to, uh, are there going to be endings with some things there? And the sun is illuminating your fifth house of romance, creativity, fun, uh, children. Uh, so do you need to spend less time with groups and spend more time with 
a partner with creativity or children. Now, Venus is in your seventh house. This is partnership of a significant other, or it's a partnership of a work partnership or an alliance, or um, this could be uh, this could be clients. So where are you finding the balance? You're going to have some kind of closure with your friends and your social circles, maybe leaving some of those to spend more time with a significant other or with children, romance, creativity, or with something with business, making room for abundance in your life. Aries, you rock it. Taurus. This full moon is going to occur in your 10th house of career, and the sun is going to be illuminating your home life. And then I want to throw in Venus. Venus is illuminating your, there's a trine to it. So it's illuminating your sixth house of health, routine, work. So let's go back and put some of this together. We have many planets in retrograde. When we have larger planets stationed retrograde, this is a time to go back, process, digest what we were working on, um, to correct, to perfect them. Now, because it's conjunct Jupiter, Jupiter's right there, right next to it. This is us seeing the bigger picture. So what are you seeing? You are wanting to link together with others because that's what Jupiter wants to do. And you want to be connected to justice. And the moon is the people, you. So you wanting to connect with the larger. Jupiter is going to be going retrograde. So it might re yeah, reveal some injustices that are, well, it is retrograde. So this is you, um, this is revealing some injustices that are going on within your peripheral vision. Um, Aquarius wants to find freedom, truth, uh, equality. It's to have a voice. And this is you wanting to have your voice be heard. Um, remember that this is this moon is in the 29th degree. So it was in the first degree that we had a full moon last month. It's rare that you get a uh, two full moons, one in a one degree and one in the 29th degree. So the first one was, let's have some closure. Let's have some endings. This one is about major endings that are going to offer you freedom, connecting with um, healthy people, control, you wanting to have control over income, routine, um, job, relationship, um, what you can control in your life. And Venus in Libra is about how it's, she's going to help you manage this. So your 10th house is your career, your life goals, your ambitions, your public life, how you are seen and your recognition. So that's going to be illuminated. And it's the sun is saying, are you paying attention to your home, your family, your mother or um, your foundation? So are you creating a balance between your home life and your public life? Um, are you, is there, is there a way that you're able to connect or is there an injustice that you're saying, I'm not being fair to one or the other. Now, Venus is in your sixth house of daily work, health, routine, service, expect great things. This could be you ending some kind of a job and starting a new ending a project and starting a new ending a routine and starting new because with Venus in Libra in your sixth in your sixth house Venus says I want to support you with what you love and you need balance with health career family home and so how are you going to manage that the full moon will illuminate some things for you and the sun is saying don't forget about focusing on the home so it's going to be good for you, Taurus. Gemini, this full moon is occurring in your ninth house of travel, distance travel, uh, deep dive into education, philosophy, religion, foreign people, foreign things, um, and um, study, um, study of other things. So it's also 
the sun is going to be illuminating your third house of siblings, neighbors, short trips, um, uh, lower education, finding a balance between the two. Now, we also have Venus. I want to throw that lady in there. She is in your fifth house of fun, creativity, children. And so with all of this energy, we have several planets in that are stationed retrograde. Now that means that you're going to be processing things, going back, trying to digest, correct, perfect. So you can move forward. Um, Jupiter sees the bigger picture and this moon is going to be illuminating the bigger picture for you. Jupiter wants to link together with others, community. Um, Jupiter wants to stay connected. Jupiter wants uh, justice. Uh, the moon represents the people. So it's you finding this balance between Jupiter and retrograde may reveal some injustices that you may see. Um, now Aquarius wants freedom, truth, equality, and to have a voice. Where do you want a voice with uh, your travel or uh, among people that are uh, among the study of diving into an education of foreign people, foreign things, or uh, the written documents of um, what you're going to be looking at? What is limiting you in your life? Is it job? Is it relationship? Is it, and I mean relationship with healthy people. Um, what can you control? Your income, your routine. This is you expecting change or needing change to create new energy to move forward. Now, Venus is going to be in Libra until se the, uh, September 10th. So she's here to help you. And this is saying she's focusing on your fifth house. And your fifth house is saying, romance, creativity, children, don't forget about us. We're here to support you with whatever you want to do. Um, she wants to support the house of the full moon. And that is you wanting to travel, you wanting to dive in further with an education. Um, so you're looking at this and saying, I'm going to be having some endings and new beginnings. What is ending? Uh, a graduation. A, a study of this a project and then studying something new. Maybe I'm focused on something that's closer to home. Maybe I'm doing it through the internet and how, and it needs to be something that brings you pleasure. It's not going to be a class that you're going to dive into and not enjoy. This will have to bring pleasure and feel creative for you that you can use it further in your life. Good luck with this. This is an amazing opportunity. Use it to your benefit. Cancer. This full moon is occurring in your eighth house. The eighth house for you is transformations, other people's finances, legacies, wills, um, collaborating with other people. And the sun is illuminating your second house of personal finances, your feelings, your values, possessions. Um, now, we have the help of Jupiter seeing the bigger picture. I want to talk about these retrograde planets. Where they're stationed for you, this is you going back and digesting, processing, and correcting and perfecting things to move forward. Remember that it's conjunct Jupiter. So this is, you can see this big picture, you need to link together with others, with a larger community, and it's staying, it's, it's wanting justice. The moon represents people. And so this is you in your eighth house, wanting some kind of justice, wanting to balance the scales of. Aquarius wants freedom, truth, equality, to have a voice. This is where you want to have a voice. It's in the 29th degree. This is our second full moon. The first full moon occurred uh, at one degree. So that was like, hey, I'm here to end some things. This is the final ending. This is the anoretic degree. It's the last one. It's a very sensitive. It's more powerful. It's about final endings for you in this household, in this sign. So you need to look at what is limiting you in your life. 
Is it freedom? Is it connection with healthy people? Is it what you can control, your income, your routine? This me, this is for you to expect change with a new energy so you can move forward. Where Venus is, Venus, when she goes through a house, she wants to help that house. So Venus for you is your fourth house of house, home, family, foundation, mother, roots. It's it's what this is going to give you the support. What are you doing and using the support of your home in order to help you to move forward to make these changes? So again, you have this full moon illuminating. What do you need to do? What do you have these endings with um, other people's money, contracts, um, legacies, will money that's coming into you, there will be some kind of an ending and a beginning. So it will be illuminating some things. How will it affect you directly through your personal finances, what you value and what's there to support you, your personal ho um, house of home and family and your foundation. So money, house, home, foundation, and other people's income that comes to you and how it affects you. This could be a partnership that you have with a client or um, a partnership with a, a marriage partner with like a binding contract. So like a prenup or like a divorce or alimony or what do you call it when you get paid for your children, um, child support. It's those kinds of things that are going to affect you in your second house of income and how it affects you with your home. So a good opportunity to ask for what you deserve, ask for what should be coming to you. You have a voice. You need to speak your voice, make it heard. Leo. This full moon is occurring in your seventh house of partnerships, relationships. The sun is illuminating your first house of self, uh, personal appearance, and how other people see you. Venus is supporting you with your third house of communication, siblings, um, and uh, technology, and written the written word. So let's go back and talk about the plants there in retrograde. Retrograde planets ask us to go back, digest, process, and correct and perfect what we were working on. Because this, the, this planet, uh, because the moon is going to be conjunct Jupiter, which means like it's right next to it, Jupiter sees the bigger picture. It um, wants to link us to others, to community. Jupiter is connected to justice, wanting to create justice, wanting to have justice. The moon is the people. So the moon is saying, we need, uh, we personally need justice. And Jupiter saying, I see the bigger picture. Let's make this happen. Jupiter in retrograde is going to be revealing some kind of injustice. So you're going to have to be working through what are you seeing? What is the full moon illuminating for you? Now, Aquarius. Aquarius wants this freedom, this truth, this equality to have a voice. This is where you are going to want to have a voice. Now, we had a full moon. It's rare to have two full moons. So we had one at the first degree, which was some kind of ending for you. Now we have this at the anoretic degree, the 29th degree. So you ended some things. Now, this is going to be the final ending. So uh, it's, it's about getting that voice being heard, you looking back and saying, what is limiting me in my life? Is it freedom? Is it job? Is it a relationship? Uh, is it a connection with healthy people? Is it what I can control my income, my routine? This means you need to expect change and have a new energy to move forward with it. Where is Venus and Libra for you in your third house? This is technology, siblings close to home. Um, she wants to support the full moon in making these things happen for you. So a full moon illuminating some things in your seventh house of partners, uh, relationships. This could be uh, alliances that you have. This could be marriage partners. This could be um, clients that you have. This all also means open enemies. So what is being illuminating? What is ending? 
and expect new beginnings and focus on self. How do you connect to this? Is it changing you? And are you, uh, are you being heard? Are you being, are you being, do you have to conform to this? Because that's not healthy. So you have some endings, have some closures, have some great new beginnings, because wherever there's an ending, there's a new beginning. And Venus is going to say, look, if we're going to start this, we may have to have some kind of a contract. If you're going to have this great partnership, because it illuminates it, then let's have a contract between you and that partner. Good luck on that one, Leo. Virgo, the full moon is going to be in your sixth house of um, daily work, routine, uh, business, career, um, what you do for others, uh, discipline, habits, and uh, the sun is going to be in your 12th house of hidden supports and karma and the and venus is going to be supporting you in your second house of things that you value feeling self-worth and money so let's talk about this when a planet is retrograde it's going back it is um, trying to digest correct and perfect so it can move forward and correct the things that didn't go so well in the first place this planet is going to be conjunct um, Jupiter. So the moon is going to be conjunct Jupiter. So this is about seeing the bigger picture. It's linked together with community. Uh, Jupiter is connected with wanting justice. The moon is connected with people. So Jupiter retrograde is about revealing things that there could be an injustice. Um, Aquarius wants freedom, truth, equality, and to have a voice. And since this full moon is going to be at the 29th degree, they call this the anoretic. It's uh, so we had the first full moon last month in the first degree. So it was ending things. This is the final ending. This is about uh, being very sensitive, having more power and a close the door. Don't look back ending. So it's you saying, what is limiting me in my life? Uh, where's my freedom, my connection to healthy people, uh, job, relationship, uh, what can I control, my income, my routine, um, expect a change with this new energy moving forward. Now, Venus wants to support this. So we have this full moon revealing some things about endings with patterns, with our job, our health, our routine, and then there will be new beginnings and things will be revealed in this area. And it's going to be supported with hidden supports coming from our 12th house. Um, this is also, since it's, since it's conjunct Venus, uh, it's going to be supported by ask for something for your career, ask for something for your um whatever you're doing for money, for job, uh, your daily work, your health, ask for what your worth is. Um, if, because the second house is what do you value your money um, finances and saying, this is what I'm worth. This is what I'm going to ask for. This is what I need to have in order to move forward. And there will be hidden supports that will support you and getting what you actually deserve financially and for a new career. So some doors closing and new doors opening up. Awesome time for you, Virgo. Libra, this moon is in your, the full moon is going to be in your fifth house. Now the fifth house for you is fun, romance, it's creativity, it's children, it is having fun and being out there. The sun is illuminating your 11th house. The 11th house for you is friends, social circles, group activities, spiritual aspirations, and it's being supported by first house themes. First house is you. So we have the planet, um, we have Jupiter in retrograde. So when a planet travels or stations retrograde, this is about going back and finishing, um, digesting, processing, correcting, and perfecting it so it can move forward. So what we're working on now is some form of closure with a new beginning. 
Now, it's also conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter sees the bigger picture. Jupiter links people and places and things together. It links together community. Um, Jupiter wants justice and the moon equals people. So where are you wanting justice connected to the people? Uh, Jupiter in retrograde will be revealing some things that there is an injustice and you're going to be able to see like, this is not right. We need to fix this. We need to move on. We need to have some closure. We need to have new beginnings. Now it's at the 29th degree. This is an anoretic degree, meaning our last full moon was in the first degree. It's rare that you have two full moons um, that, you know, at these degrees. So the first one was, okay, we have some things that we began that we need to end. This one is a final ending, probably from things back in February. And um, it's looking back and saying, what in my life has been limiting me? What has been costing me my freedom? Is it job? Is it relationship? Is it connecting with healthy people? Is it um, what I can control? My income, my routine. It will now be about expanding and changing to this new energy um, to move forward. Now, Venus is, uh, Venus wants to support. It's in a, it's in a, a, a trine. So, Venus being the first house, wherever this full moon, so the full moon is saying, hey, there's some things in my life that I'm, uh, it's re relationships, partners, kids, uh, children, creativity, ending of some of those things. The sun is illuminating the friends and the groups that I need to stay connected to and new beginnings of a new project that I'm going to be starting that I enjoy. It could be music. It could be art, or it could be diving in with something with children. The first house of self will be supporting it. This is something that you will want to throw yourself into and appreciate completely and enjoy um, filling up your own personal cup, if, if that makes sense. So um, great things coming. This, this fifth house of like endings, new beginnings, fifth house, fun, pleasure. It could mean, um, Okay, when I say new relationships, it, it means like affairs, and it could be um, flirting, and it could mean, I told you about creativity. So endings and new beginnings and all connected to you and how good you feel about it and what involvement you're going to have in it. So great things coming, Libra. All right, let's talk about Scorpio. Scorpio. So this full moon is happening in your fourth house, the fourth house for you represents your home, your foundation, um, family, um, could mean mother. Now, the 10th house is where your sun is shining. This is your career, your ambitions, your goal, your public life, where the sun shines down on you. Their uh, Venus is in your 12th house. So what hidden supports are going to be supporting you for these endings and new beginnings? So right now we have Jupiter stationing retrograde and several other planets. So when larger planets station retrograde, they want us to go back, to digest, to readjust, to correct and perfect so we can move forward, uh, progressing better. Now, it's uh, this is conjunct Jupiter. So uh, Jupiter sees the big picture. It sees the overall. Jupiter is connected to the community. It's connected with other people. Uh, Jupiter in retrograde is going to be with this moon revealing, full moon illuminating, revealing things that there may be injustice about. Um, Aquarius wants freedom and truth, equality, and to have a voice. So what in your life is going to be illuminated that you need these things? Um, it is in the 29th degree. So the 29th degree the full moon, the first full moon in July was uh, at one degree endings. This one is sensitive, more powerful, final endings, things that happened back in February and saying, okay, we need complete closure to move this past and not go back. So taking a look back at what is limiting you. Is it freedom? Is it your job? Is it a relationship? Is it um, connecting with healthy people? Uh, what are things that you can control? Is it your income? Is it your routine? Expecting changes with new energy to move forward. 
um, this, since Venus is ruling your 12th house, there will be hidden supports that you didn't know about that will be coming out to support you with this closure. This could be you moving to a new home. Remember a moon, the, the full moon in your fourth house is, am I selling my home? Am I buying a new home? Because wherever there's an ending, there's a new beginning. This is home, family, am I bringing somebody else into my home? I need to support this with my career. The sun is shining on your 10th house of career. How are you balancing these, these endings and new beginnings with home and career with the Venus saying, I have these hidden supports that you didn't even know about, these people that are going to help you, support you, and come out and make this manageable, make this happen for you. So an awesome time for you, Scorpio. Sagittarius, this full moon is happening in your third house. Now, the third house for you is technology, written, things that are written. It's communication. It's short distance. It is neighbors and it's siblings. The um, sun is shining in your ninth house. This can mean legal matters. This can be travel, studying abroad, foreign people, foreign things, religion, philosophy, connecting those two together. You're going to get support from your friends and social groups that you're in because of Venus being in your 11th house. So currently we have several planets in retrograde. Now, when planets are stationed retrograde, this is about them saying, look, we need to go back. We need to process, digest, correct, and perfect so we can move forward with and build a stronger foundation. The, the moon is conjunct Jupiter and it's about, I'm going to illuminate things, full moon. Jupiter seeing the bigger picture, linking together with others, the community. Jupiter is connected to justice, wanting justice. The moon is connected to people. So Jupiter in retrograde is full moon revealing some things that there is injustice for. So things that are injustice, not right. Um, yeah. So in your third house and uh, being supported by this, these foreign people, foreign things and legal matters. So the full moon being at 29 degrees, the last one was in one degree. That was endings, closures, things that were being illuminated. And it was like a clean sweep. The 29th degree is called the anoretic. It's a sensitive, more powerful, and it's final endings. And it's going back further. So possibly things from back in February. So taking a look at what is, what is limiting you in your life. Is this freedom? Is this connection to healthy people? Is it a job? Is it a relationship? It is what you can control? It is, or is it your income? It is, or is it your routine, your daily routine? So expect changes with new energy to move forward. Venus wants to say, I have these friends. I have these groups. Um, take a look at you, these legal matters and before you sign the dotted line, it's going to be revealing some things that you might need to look at a couple of times. Like if, if you're going to be signing any documents, the full moon is going to reveal some things that may not be um, in your best interest. And this is an opportunity for you to look at them and say, okay, I, I now see the bigger picture. It's also family members like siblings or, or traveling close to home. So keep in mind, all of those things mixed together with the sun illuminating travel, foreign people, foreign things, legal matters, and having being supported with Venus, with your friends and your groups. Maybe you turn to one of them and have them double check something that you're working on or get advice from them, but they are definitely there to support you. Capricorn. Capricorn, this full moon is happening in your um, second house. So the second house for you is income values, uh, personal things. Um, this is self-worth cash property, and the sun is illuminating your eighth house for you. Your eighth house is transformation, birth, death, rebirth, legacies, wills, money coming into you. Now with this money coming into you, it's being supported by your 10th house of career because Venus is there. And Venus is saying, look, 
with these career goals, we can make this happen. It's all about finances, money, and your standing in life. Now we have several planets in retrograde. When planets are in retrograde, it's about going back, processing, digesting, correcting, and perfecting things that you were working on. So looking at the big picture and saying, what can I, what do I need to focus on to move forward? Um, because it's conjunct, this moon is conjunct Jupiter, um, moon full viewing things fully seeing everything, uh, Jupiter, I want to see the big picture. It links together with others and community because that's what Jupiter does. And, um, Jupiter is also about wanting justice. This moon is equating to people. And so Jupiter in retrograde is revealing where there are injustices with the groups and the people. And Aquarius, because it's in that sign, they want freedom. It's about wanting truth, equality, to having a voice, to being able to voice your opinion or and wanting this equality to move forward. The moon is going to be in the 29th degree. They couldn't, they call this the anoretic. We had the first degree of the last full moon, and it's rare that you have two of them in the same sign. So the first one was clean sweep, get, you know, endings. Let's move this along. The 29th degree is let's go back further. And now we've had some time to process this. Go back to like February, what was going on? The same theme will be from last month, but it's a clean sweep. It's about final endings. Now, the final endings, it's what is limiting your life? Is this freedom? Is this connection to power, um, to healthy, healthy people, places, things, job, relationship, what you can control, your income, your routine? It's, it's a time to expect new energy to be pushed forth to move forward. Um, so new moon with money. Um, I'm sorry, not new moon, full moon with money. So illuminating some things, look at the finances, look, check, double check money coming to you, asking for what you're worth. The sun is transformation of your eighth house. So something with somebody else's money, this could be um, a will, this could be um, alimony, this could be child support. Something is going to change somewhere and it's going to affect your second house of personal finances. Now, this will, you will get help from your 10th house again, and that is your social standing and your career, your public life, your recognition. So everything for you is going to be about transforming all, uh, money that was with others in, and you had say so in documents and now turning it over to you and with career, this could be a new job, an ending of an old or an old and a beginning of a new. And it can also be um, a switch from like a promotion. Uh, it Everything has to do with money in your career. So Capricorn, great things coming. Aquarius, Aquarius, this is happening in the full moon is happening in your first house of self. So how you see yourself, how you present yourself, how you come out into the world, what um, your physical appearance now, the sun is illuminating your seventh house of partners, relationships, um, uh, enemies. It could also be clients. Um, these could be partnerships of not just um, like husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, but um, work partners. And so how is it going to be supported? It's going to be supported with um, Venus, the goddess of love, in your ninth house of travel, uh, foreign people, foreign things, and contracts and paper, uh, meaning like written paper or education. So this is going to be a great time for you to bring it all together to benefit you. Now we have several planets that are stationing retrograde right now. And when the larger planets are stationing retrograde, it's a time for us to digest, process, correct, and perfect things to move forward. So a lot of this, you've already gone over it once, and now you're going over it a second time and saying, I need to fine tune this. So when we finally move forward, we can move completely forward and no looking back because the moon is conjunct uh, Jupiter, um, the moon full, see everything 
things are illuminated. Jupiter, see the bigger picture. It's linked together with others and community. Because Jupiter is also connected to justice and the moon is connected to people, um, Jupiter is currently retrograde. So it will reveal full moon, some injustice that may be going on in your life or surrounding you. Now, this Aquarius energy, it wants freedom. It's about wanting truth, equality, to have a voice. So because this full moon is at the 29th degree, they call this the anoretic. Uh, the first degree, we had one last month. It's rare that we have two full moons in the same sign. So the first one was at one degree, and it was about let's clear this energy out. Let's move it, get it gone, be done, have these endings. This one is more powerful, and it's about final endings, uh, looking back possibly to February and saying, this has been going on for a while. I now need complete closure to move on. So you, you're going to be taking a look back at your life and saying, what is limiting me? Is it freedom? Is it connecting with healthy people? Is it um, my job, my relationship? Uh, what can I control? Can I control my income, my routine? It's expanding. Um, it's, it's about, I want control over to have a voice for in those areas of my life. And for you, the area of self, partnerships, and travel abroad, higher learning, and bringing it all together. And the full moon is going to be illuminating some things there for you. So expect some changes with some new positive energy. So you having some closures with how you did look, how you, it's like a change. And it's a change with you and a partner is included. The partner sector is being illuminated. And how is that affecting you? Is this, is this new clients coming your way? Is it a, um, an ending with one partner in the beginning with a new, is this, um, it's, but it's definitely all about you. And the good part is, is the opportunity that's going to come out of this is going to benefit you personally, and it's going to benefit you for um, travel and to meet foreign people, to dive into spirituality and technology. And it's offering you uh, the opportunity to get out, um, move about more. Pisces. So Pisces, we have this full moon in your 12th house. Remember that the 12th house for you represents um, hidden supports um, and it's also secrets. Uh, your sun is in your sixth house of daily work, health, routine, and discipline, habits. Now, Pisces, your uh, Venus is going to support you with eighth house. For you, the eighth house is... Uh, joint finances, legacies, wills. So bringing it all together. Right now, we currently have several planets and larger planets in stationing retrograde. So when they are retrograde, this is a time for them to go back to correct, to process, to digest, and to perfect so they can move forward. So you're currently redoing some things that are bigger picture for you. The moon is going to be conjunct Jupiter, moon, full, illuminating, Jupiter, expansive, sees the bigger picture. It wants to link you together with the community. Um, and Jupiter is connected also with justice and the moon is connected with the people. So Jupiter in retrograde or Jupiter station retrograde is revealing full moon, some things that there is an injustice for in your life. Now, Aquarius, because it's in the sign of, it's about wanting freedom, wanting the truth, wanting equity, equality, to have a voice and to speak that voice, to be authentic and be yourself. Because this full moon is in the 29th degree, the, the first full moon was in the first degree. That was in July. Now, it's rare that you have two of them in the same sign. Um, so the first degree was we have some endings, we have some closures, let's move it along. Because it's in the 29th, they, they call this the anoretic. It's very sensitive, it's more powerful, and it's about final endings, not looking back, moving on. These are things that'll take you back as far as February, moving these things along and now taking a look and saying, what is limiting me in my life? 
Is it freedom? Is it a job? Is it relationship? Is it a connection to um, healthy people? Is it what I can control? Is it income? Is it routine? So expect some changes and some new energy to be coming through. Um, with this uh, full moon, the full moon is going to illuminate some things to your private side that you wanted to keep private, that you wanted to keep secret. It's also about hidden supports there that will be revealed to you that you didn't know that maybe they are of the same mind as you are. Definitely hidden supports. Um, the sun will be illuminating. Hey, you need to have, uh, you need to take care of yourself. Remember that the 12th house is our spiritual self and its connection to the spiritual realm. Are you taking care of that? Are you meditating? Are you yoga? Are you um, exercising? Are you eating healthy? Are you doing all these things? Because the sun is going to illuminate that house of daily routine and making this a part of making you stronger, healthier, healthy, healthier, better. Um, how is this going to happen? With help from Venus in your eighth house. Venus in your eighth house is um, a transformation of other people's funds that come to you. If this could be investments that you've made, this could be a will, this could be finances, this could be uh, it's it's income that uh, you are part of, but you're not working to earn for a job. So it could mean like a divorce settlement. It could mean child support. It's money coming in that will help support you for your daily daily work, your daily health routine. And so because your moon side, your full moon illuminating some things that are the secrets, the karma, the hidden supports and limits, all bringing it full circle. So to find out more, you can always sign up for my newsletter at willowgracemystic.com. I am offering astrology for beginners class. You can look at my website for that. And I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and podcasts. I heart you and you have an amazing rest of August.